Welcome to the second of our videos just explaining how the EasyNet white baiting equipment works. Um, but everyone's aware the new regulations have been brought out, so I'm just trying to now explain um, the, the basis of our gear, how it's how it's developed, and, and what it's um, and what the theory of it's based around, which is which is a, uh, a port easily portable. This is this is a full set of two screens and an E800 net. You'll see that each of these is about nine kilograms of weight, so they're not too not too heavy to pick up. With with the, all of the all of the gear is geared up to to be positively positive buoyancy. So that, that means that all of the top components, all of the rails, are sealed. All of the vertical components, the legs, have holes drilled top and bottom so that they flood. It won't, if we, if we have it all sealed up, the gear would just float around like a cork. So like a, like a ship, you have to either add ballast or, or flood some of the compartments so that, it, so that it settles in the water. Once it's in the water, it'll be quite considerably heavier than the nine kilograms that it is here, because all of those compartments will, be, will weigh same as if they were full of water. So it'll be really quite heavy until you actually pick it up, but it makes it easy to use and stable and strong currents or, or, or a, a strong tidal push. So it'll be sluggish and if, you, if you've got it staked up securely, it's, um, it's easy to handle in, in the water. It's not, it's not as though it is all flimsy and bobbing around. It's not, it's very solid and very stable. So, that's, that's the basis of, of the gear. I've got this one, this, this demonstration unit set up here. This is just the, the tent, we're just making out of that state to, to the river bank. Um, so we just, all of, all of the, the, the bottoms, bottoms of the screens are all weighted with, with chain, galvanised chain, six mil. There's two pieces in there. You can, you can increase the number of wheel descent your additional chains if you want to make the the bottom of it heavier. There's no real need that sits down. They're all pinned at each uh, at each fitting so that they can't flop around. With the net, the net's the same. It's got all the vertical components and the bottom, bottom rail and the three, you'll see the hole down there. So all of those components at the bottom will flood. The top ones won't, unless you unless you specifically want the net to settle on the bottom to sink. In which case, you just have to use the 16 mil hole saw and just drill some holes in the in those three components, and that's it. It'll it'll sink them. But it's it's not really the idea. I don't I don't think so. You'll see in the background here. I've got a nine uh, one, an E1000. It just shows you how much higher they are to the 800s. So the 200 mil difference, same width. That's a maximum size net internal circumference of 4.5 meters, slightly under. So it's fully compliant. <laughs> uh, I think that's about all I need to do. What I'll do now is just show you how the net, I've released the net before. So the net's just, just pull the pin out, pull the thing apart and let the, let the hook off the bottom. The pin and, there's a pin and a ring down there, I think you've seen all that before previous one so now the net's got a, a handle in the bottom so that you can just get you can get hold of the net for emptying I think I've you before, just get your velcro up if you're on the on the, the side of the river bank you can just get your bucket on the bucket on the stand down the water pop your pin at the bottom throw the pin on and we're done. You can use a little stand. I'll just make it a little stand like this. It just sits down. It'll sit down. You'll only be about there. Easy to use that to, to uh, empty, and empty a catch. I'm being, being positive that we're going to get some here. <laughs> There's been lots of talk on, the, uh, on social media, Facebook and whatever you about the new regulations and all sorts of theories about seen some about the rope rope or ropes attached to the to the equipment adding or being included in the length I don't know whether that's right or not I'm not I'm not we're just going to go with the keep it as simple as we can I think they are 
the government and the regulations, so I'm not going to overanalyze it. This is compliant with what they've come up with. And um, if anyone needs any further information at any time, just get on the website, look at my email address, easynet.co, info at easynet.co.nz, and let me know and I'll get back to you. I'll call you back. Thanks for that. Catch up next time. Thank you.